Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you how to automatically expire news, news posts in SharePoint Online. Um, uh, this is what I'm talking about. Here's a scenario for you. Uh, essentially, um, let's say you have the SharePoint site. And in my case, it happens to be an uh, internet uh, main site, main landing page. And I have a number of news posts, you know, published uh, on this site. Uh, now, by default, of course, they're published in chronological, in reverse chronological order. So with the latest being on top. And, um, you know, the situation, uh, the scenario I have is that I want to automatically expire these news posts and essentially so that they disappear from uh, my uh, site, from user's view. Uh, all right. Now, uh, out of the box, there is really no way uh, kind of to do that. Uh, there is uh, there are a couple of options available to you. You can of course uh, navigate to the uh, site contents gear, site contents icon, site pages. That's where all the news posts are uh, stored. And you know, let's say you want to to uh, get rid of a, a particular news post. I mean, you can literally just delete it, uh, but that will uh, that's a manual operation, right? And in some cases, we don't really want to delete it. We just want to maybe hide it based uh, on the expiration date. Uh, so yeah, out of the box, there is really no kind of a way to automatically do it. However, with a bit of um, configuration, uh, we can easily make it happen. Now, the trick we're going to employ is this. We are going to create a custom a column, uh, a piece of a custom a piece of metadata uh, on the site pages document library. That's where all the news posts are stored, and we're going to assign an expiration date for each uh, and every article that we post. All right. So, um, and once that happens, uh, there is an ability uh, within the news widget to filter the results um, based uh, to filter the pages based on that expiration date. All right, so three steps in involved again. Um, if step number one, we will create uh, a, a custom ma metadata column, uh, which is going to be an expiration date. Step number two, we are going to uh, publish news and assign um, that, um, you know, assign a, a particular value to each and every post an expiration date. And then uh, the third step, we would just configure, we would just filter the our news widget to only display you know, news that are later than uh, today, uh, today's date. All right, so let's proceed with this uh, little exercise. So um, step number one, of course, I'm going to navigate to the site contents, site pages library. Site pages library is just like a regular document library for documents. We have site pages library. That's where all the um, pages are stored, um, site pages are stored. And because each and every news article is a, is a standalone uh, page, um, you know, that's where it's stored. So uh, right here, uh, and you can see a few posts that you have seen on my uh, site, um, you know, that's them right here. Uh, they do appear obviously in my site uh, contents, uh, site uh, pages uh, library. So the first step again, we are going to create a custom column uh, on this library. Uh, that's a date field, of course, uh, and we are going to create uh, an expiration date column. All right, nice and easy. So that's what I just did. So step number one is completed. Step number two, we are going to tag our new post uh, with this expiration date. Now, there are a couple of different ways on how you can tag this new post with an expiration date. Um, the uh, first option is uh, you just navigate. It's very similar to how you would tag documents in a SharePoint document library. Uh, so you just check the page in this case, click the, uh, uh, the checkbox next to the page uh, and um, you know, click this little document information panel on the right hand side. And here we go. We can enter an expiration date uh, for, this, um, uh, for this particular page. Uh, let's just say that the expiration date uh, uh, for this one, we'll, we'll put something in the past, all right? Uh, so this post, uh, uh, let's say, sh uh, should expire uh, on this particular date. All right, here we go. So here we go. I just saved it. Here we go. That uh, That is the expiration date of this post. Um, and uh, the second way to assign metadata, you can do it right from within the news post. So whether you create a new one, uh, or you go to an existing one. Uh, let me tag this one. 
All right, here we go. Uh, you just click the edit button. So we're in the edit mode, page details, uh, and it opens this uh, page details um, panel on the right hand side. Uh, and if you notice, look at this, I have the custom metadata over here. This is the column I just created. And for this one, let's put a date uh, in the future, all right? So I'm going to do something like this, all right? This would be an expiration date for this one. Perfect. So I just tagged two uh, news posts uh, right now. Uh, yeah, let's not uh, forget to publish, uh, to update and publish. Uh, all right, so it saves the metadata and everything. So uh, just to summarize uh, what I just did, um, you know, the, the news posts are still here. And if you recall, this one was tagged, um, you know, with an expiration date in the past. Uh, this one is tagged with an expiration date in the future. All right. Uh, so again, just to kind of show you what I did, if I go back to my site pages and you will notice both posts are tagged. All right, so now uh, the only step that remains for us is that uh, we need to filter our news uh, web part. And I would like uh, to pretty much um, run a query, if you will, uh, and filter out the news uh, that, have, um, uh, that have already uh, expired. So essentially, we don't want the news where the expiration date is less than today, all right? Uh, we only want to show the news um, uh, where expiration date is in the future. So I'm going to edit this main page. And I'm going to uh, click on the pencil icon when it loads. Uh, for whatever reason, it didn't uh, load. So let me ref refresh. All right, here we go. I guess I'm not being patient. Here we go. Perfect. Uh, click the little pencil icon. Uh, to edit this web part. Uh, these are like additional settings now. Um, look at this. We do have a few options again to kind of limit the number of posts, but it's not something that allows us to filter the old uh, news posts. Uh, but if we scroll down, uh, we can filter. We can use this filter option to filter out the expired news posts. Uh, now, there are different properties you can filter by. In this case, um, you know, in this case, we're filtering by page properties. Page properties are essentially the custom properties, custom metadata that we created on the site pages library. Here we go. I'm going to select a property I want to filter by. In this case, it's an expiration date. All right. And a few options. So uh, I want to only show uh, event, um, um, news posts that will uh, that have expiration date uh in the future all right uh so the expiration date has to be after the today's date and uh the way we put today's date is like that all right so um i just need to type it in just like that and uh, square brackets so essentially again the logic is that i only want to show the news post where expiration dates expiration date is after today all right uh, everything else will be filtered out. So let's see if this works. I have two news articles, and uh, this one should disappear uh, because the expiration date is in the past, uh, and this one expiration date is in the future. So hit apply, and look at this. That's exactly what happened. All right. And now all I have to do is just make it official, publish, you know, my changes. So my uh, page is live now. Everyone can see it again. And look at this. My news article has been filtered out, the old one, because an expiration date is in the past. All right, uh, that's pretty much it. A nice little trick to utilize uh, uh, if you want to uh, um, you know, filter your news. And it doesn't have to be expiration date, right? You can filter uh, by anything you want. You can filter by different categories uh, that you assign um, you know, to your news uh, posts, et cetera. But in this case, uh, this nice little trick allows us to kind of keep the, uh, our uh, news uh, fresh uh, for the users. All right. Hopefully you learned something new. And as always, uh, thank you very much for your attention. And I uh, hope to see you again on my YouTube channel as well as my blog, sharepointmaven.com. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.